Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome to a brand new tutorial series in Discord.py. In this tutorial series, we will see how we can create our own Discord bot, how we can create custom commands and admin commands, how we can send, receive and delete messages, how we can welcome users, how we can send DMs or basically personal messages, how we can get some server information and display that, and finally, how we can host our bot online in Heroku, so it runs 24-7 for free. So first of all, let's see what Discord.py is. So Discord.py is a library for Python, which utilizes the Discord API. So instead of using directly the Discord API, Discord.py makes it easier to control it from Python. So in this episode specifically, we will see how we can create our Discord bot, how we can log into that Discord bot from our Python code, and then run a really simple example the documentation provides you with. Now I will leave all links down in the description which we will use, so, so this documentation will be down in the description, and then next you will need to download Python, so this will be also down in the description. So yeah, like I said, first of all, we need to install Python and to do that, click the link down in the description and click download Python 3.10 point, whatever it is. Now, whatever version this is, it should work with our discord.py library. But currently, if I open command line and run Python does does and then version, I have version 3.10.4. So this version, whatever I do in this video, works with that version 100%. So now to download Python, it's really easy. So first of all, we'll click download. Then we will click on this installation file. Now I have already installed it, so it will not be the same, but I'll click modify and make sure right here on the bottom, it will tell you to add it on the path. So it will say add Python or pip to the path. So make sure you click that and then click next and then just click next until you finish with the installation. So just follow the steps it provides you. And yeah, that's basically it. Now, if you have any issues during the tutorial or during the Python installation, let me know down in the comments or join our Discord server, ask for help in our programming help category, and then me or some other member of the server will try to help you out. So yeah, with that said, let's continue. Now, the first thing we have to do is go to Discord Developer Portal and go to Applications, so this Applications tab, and we will create a new application. And through that application, we will create our bot. So let's create a new application by clicking this button right here. The link for this page will be down in the description, and it requires a name for our application, so I'll put Michael and then App, and let's create our application. Then once your application is created, let's go to the bot tab and create a new bot. And that's how you will create a new bot. So let's click yes, do it. And there we go. So our bot is created. Here you can change the name of your bot. So the username, and we can put whatever we want here. So we can say Michael, the bot. Now the ID for your bot cannot change. So you cannot change this ID right here. So have that in mind. And that's basically all we have to do. Next, we have to change the bot permissions. So whenever we want to invite our bot, before we do that, we want to check which permissions our bot needs to have. So if you want your bot to be able to kick and ban members, then you would check these boxes right here, and then you will click Save Changes. And then for every task you want your bot to do, then you will check that task. If it's your own bot, so you only want to invite it on your server, then you can use administrator, so you can allow your bot to do basically anything. And yeah, if you trust your own bot, then you can do that. Now, while developing the bot, I'll recommend you create a test server. So whenever you run some custom commands, make sure you test them there, and then you can test them on your actual server. And that's basically it. We don't have to do anything else to create our bot. Next, in order to log in to our bot from our Python code, then we will need this token right here. Now we have to reset our token so we can get it. And you only get it once. So after I reset it, I will get the code. 
but whenever you want to get the code again you'll have to reset it again and it gives you a brand new code and basically the old token or code doesn't work anymore so have that in mind and yeah we'll click yes do it and there we go so this is my token so now we'll copy our token and let's go back on the documentation so first of all create a new folder where your code will be so we will click new and then new folder and we can name it Michael the bot and here we will save all the files required to run our bot so if you are using Windows which most of you are you can click right here and type CMD and by doing that it will open a terminal in this folder or you can right click and then open in terminal but if you use Mac or Linux or anything else just open a terminal in your folder once you do that once you do that we will copy this command right here so we can install discord.py in our system so let's click enter and it will start downloading discord.py and some other dependencies it needs to run now it says on linux environments you have to install some other dependencies or you have to install it differently so make sure you follow each one for your own system and there we go so i installed discord.py in my system and now let's open our folder in our code editor i am currently using visual studio code and if you are as well you can type code dot in the terminal and it will open the folder in your visual studio code now if you are not using visual studio code it doesn't really matter the code will run the same so i'll show you how you can run it either way but if you're using visual studio code then it's easier to follow me so we will create a new file and we will name it main.py now if you are using visual studio code i recommend you install python as an extension so this one right here and yeah let's continue so let's go back on our documentation and if we scroll down we have our basic example right here so we can copy it go back and paste it here now as you see on the bottom of our code it says client.run and it says my token goes here let's go on our discord developer portal and then copy our token and paste it there so inside the string you can paste our token and there we go now before we run our script and test it out what i would like to do is invite our bot in our server now to invite our bot go to general information and see this application id we will need it in a bit so make sure you copy it and if you go down the description i'll have an example invitation link and you want to paste your application id here so id here you'll put your application id so let's do that there we go and then for permissions go back go to bot scroll down choose your permissions as i showed you before and then copy it so it will give you some permissions integer and then put your integer here and it will redirect you to a similar page as this one right here so click to select a server and then select your own server so before i do that i have to create a new server so we can test this out so i'll create my own then for me and my friends and i'll do hashtag 2 so let's create our server and then let's refresh our page and select our new server and let's click continue and we'll give it access and that's it so we have to authenticate ourselves and there we go so it gives you this check mark this this means the bot was invited and if we go on my discord there we go so it says michael the bot now it's also offline because we have to run our script locally and if we go back on our code then open terminal on our folder to run our script what we have to do is type python and then type the name of your file so main.py and there we go so it says logged on as michael the bot and basically the username of the bot so let's see what our code does so we import discord which is the library the discord.py then we create a class and here we will put all the code for our script and using our class we say my client so in on our class we pass a parameter the discord.client we create a client and then running that client and doing dot run and passing our token 
we basically run that bot that matches this token. And here we can put what our bot should do in each case. So whenever the bot is ready, what should it do? So we say print some information. So logged on as, then we take the first parameter. So zero is basically the first from our format. So we pass the user. So self.user, so bot.user, and we give it here. So logged on as, and then the username of our bot. So basically the on ready is an event listener. And next we have another event listener, which listens to messages. So every time a new message is sent to our server from any member of our server, we will get that message and then we will print the message information like our author and our content. And we pass the message right here. So using the message, we say dot zero. So it's the first parameter. And then we get the author and the content. Now we can also print the message so we can see what information we can get from our message. But we will go through that in the next episode where we will see how we can receive, send, and then delete messages. But for now, let's test this code. So let's go back on our Discord and we have run our script. So, and as you see, our bot is currently online. And if we type any message, so let's do test and go back on our console. It says message from Michael Kitas and then basically my username and then the message I sent. So I sent test and it shows the message that I sent, which is test. Now I can test it again so you can see it live. So test one, two, three. And then within a second, I actually get what has been sent. So yeah, that's it for this video. I will not go any further as this is just the introduction video. Now let me know down in the comments what would you like to see in this series. So what else you'd like to learn besides what I listed in the start of this episode. And also let me know what would you like to see in general in this channel. Also hit the like button if you enjoyed this video as it helps the YouTube algorithm a lot. And subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. So yeah, with that said, click that video and 